the, the answer I gave was, you know, you guys, the Christian, are supposed to be the first to go to Mecca and worship at the Kaaba. He said, no, man, we are Christian. We don't have to go to the Mecca. I said, look, yo, I didn't say that. The Bible said that. He said, man, you're lying to the Bible. I said, show me, show me. I said, okay, show you. I'm not going to show you one. I will show you about 25. Mecca, 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 Kaaba, Muhammad, everywhere in the Bible. I will show you. So I begin by saying, open your Bible. He opened the Bible. I said, open the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 19. He opened. Huh? I said, look, you read it. I'm going to read it. You open the page. I'm going to read from my head. Because I'm telling you, my friend, if I go to sleep and you wake me up, I can read the Bible upside down. <laughs> well, I can do that. And I'm not boasting. So I said, I'm going to, you just open the page. I'm going to read from my head. I'm not going to delete. I'm not going to add. So Isaiah 19, 19, it says, God Almighty, speaking to prophet Isaiah. So God said to Isaiah, Oh Isaiah, towards the end of time, there will be a temple built in a town near Egypt. Oh Isaiah, towards the end of time, there will be a temple built near Egypt. But at the corner of that temple will be a black stone. And the people will pray to God Almighty to send them a savior. And he will send them a savior. And that temple will be a witness to mankind. Because I am the Lord. Beside me, there is no one. I said, did you see? He said, you ask any Christian about this verse. He said, oh, well, they're talking about the new Jerusalem that's supposed to come towards the end of time, blah, 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 blah. You know? They're not going to tell you that. This. But I said, which town is near Jerusalem? Your Bible said near Jerusalem. And the only temple is near, 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 near uh, Egypt. It's, it's in Saudi Arabia. And it has a black stone. Now they remove from the new international version or the new revised standard version published in 1973. They remove it. They put at the corner of that temple will be a pillar. I said, yes, we'll take it. A pillar still. I said, pillar, we'll take it. See how they change it? Because they're always changing their books. They're changing Look at the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 8. It says, Jeremiah said, Do you think that we have the law of Moses and the other prophet with us still? No. The pen of those who write the books have turned it into a lie. The Bible said that. That those who write the book have turned it into a lie. And the Quran confirmed, Jesus said that woe unto those who write the books and then they say it's from Allah so that they will sell and make some money. Woe unto the hand that write it and woe to the benefit they make out of it. So it is a business. Have you ever seen an Imam who have 10 masjids you ever seen that? Which Imam have? Okay, this is my masjid. One in Kubua, one in uh, Wusi, one, one in Keno, one in Sereno, one in Zia. Is there any Imam that have two masjid? No. But you have pastor, have 20 churches. Why? That's business, man. Because if I have a business, I want to open a franchise somewhere else. I want to open a new location. That's business, I understand. But a church, you own that church, so you collect all over the place. Subhanallah. No wonder Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 15, Jesus said, These people, they worship me with their lips only, but their heart is far away from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrine written by men. Men wrote the books. Men wrote the books. So I said, look, that's cover for you. Isaiah.